Hey, it's Bond Diesel, and I am bringing you a new video talking about one big feature I really want to see in the Division 2. But before we get there, I do want to kind of talk about a direction I'm going to start taking. So um, I am taking my, uh, my Twitch uh, side of things pretty seriously. If you haven't checked me out uh, on there before, uh, see down below in the description there will be a link to my Twitch account. You can drop me a follow and check me out. But what I really want to start focusing on um, kind of maybe before some other people do, is talking about the Division 2 and what we may want out of a Division 2. Now, obviously, this is all speculative. There's been no official announcement. There's been some, some heavy hints. I, I think for the last six months or so, there's been some kind of winking and nodding and things like that from various people at Massive and Ubisoft and, and so on and so forth. I think um, there's a, like a consumer call or a, a shareholder call that made the possibility pretty good um, and, and kind of dropped some hints to that. And just recently there was a interview with the head of Massive uh, talking about Avatar and talking about the division and, and stuff. And, and he, when directly asked about a sequel to the division, uh, kind of talked about continued support for the current game, but but didn't you know quote unquote rule out a uh, a sequel. Now uh, I don't necessarily know if he quoted that exactly, but it was to that effect. So um, there's a lot of features. Uh, I'm I've even started a new Twitter account, uh, the Division Two, um, talking about some of this stuff. I'm gonna do some polls. I'm gonna do some posts, things like that. Um, but what I want to talk about today is something that um, actually Assassin's Creed Origins, which I've been playing a ton of lately, um, kind of inspired me, as well as a ton of other games. I mean, this this RPG, you know, even this action RPG isn't a new, a new concept. There's nothing new here. Um, and there's a lot of things that aren't in the current Division game that could be added from other games and other ideas that would, um, I think, really enhance the experience make it a more personal experience with the player and their character and their role. And um, that could just make the progression and things like that more interesting. Because right now what we're dealing with is this system where, you know, you went from level 1 to 30 and you could pick things that you wanted to unlock by the sections of the, the base of operations um, that you chose to unlock. All in all, I don't hate that system. Um, I, I get it. I get that why they did it. I think this game was heavily focused on people who had never played an RPG before. And I think they had some successes and failures there. Um, but I think this game was meant for the, the person who played Call of Duty or played another shooter game or had just played shooting action games to say, hey, here's a RPG, but we're going to have a realistic aesthetic. Um, you're, it's going to be kind of gritty and military and uh, apocalypse w without zombies and all that stuff. A world based in reality, but we're going to throw in this RPG element where you have to shoot someone in the head 15 times before they die. Um, now, obviously, that's kind of adjusted, and, and, and you know, it, it's, but it's still not a one shot, one kill um, type of game, and, and it shouldn't be. That's not what it is, and, and, and I hope it never is. Because that's not what we um, have signed up for with the division. Um, so the idea I've kind of pulled from playing some Origins lately and just having some experience in other RPGs is um, I really would like to see in the division two a skill tree um, rather than unlock everything in the base of operations and here you just pick whatever you want whenever you want to go nuts. There's no rules. Just pick whatever you want. I understand why that's um, an attractive thing, and, and I think that there's going to be plenty of people who don't want this skill tree concept I have. But my idea would basically make it so that, you know, for each character you level up from 1 to 30, you would want, you would, you would not want, but you would kind of have to take a direction. Do you want to become a support player? Do you want to do DPS? Do you want to be a healer? Do you want to be an electronics based? Or maybe even other avenues um, with maybe new skills or new talents and things like that. So the concept I've thrown up here is just taking a bunch of the talents and skills that we currently have. Um, please don't read too much into it. I didn't go through and read each one of these and see if it was really the best one to be in it in its particular tree. Um, 
the, 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 I used the word to do this, so I couldn't connect things I wanted to connect. And even at the bottom, you know, you should have the ultimate skills down at the bottom. But I kind of wanted to, to show what I was talking about in that, you know, if you did this, what it would do is it would, one, give you a more personal feel of your character. You know, you started the game off from the beginning to the 30, you know, or whatever the new levels would be. You wanted this character to be an electronics-based character, or a DPS-based, or a sniper, or a whatever, you know, however they would set it up. And, and that would be that character's role, right? Um, and then, so what that would do is that would give you a reason to start another character, right? So right now, people start four characters and they level them up as storage, as mules, as, you know, gear banks. Um, because there's not really, you don't, you can have one character. There's plenty of people who have one character. Even after they, um opened up the backpack space. I know a lot of people just use one character now. They don't mess with more. Um, now, there's things that need to come with that. So you would be encouraging people to do multiple characters. So would we need more than four characters, maybe? I think that'd be a good idea. Would we want the 1 to 30 experience to be a little more interesting, maybe? Um, I, I like the idea that they have a very specific storyline. Like, obviously, with the Division 1... You just played through all the missions and, and got the same story everyone else got. I don't know if I necessarily think that there needs to be like branching timelines. There needs to be branching story in this game, even in a sequel. Um, but I wouldn't mind if we were able to get to the same result in different ways. Um, so maybe there were choices involved in the single player. Maybe there were, um, you know, in good and bad. Um, I'll make a video about this and some other Division 2 stuff eventually, but maybe um, you pick what side you're on in a sequel when it comes to the single player. I just, um, I think the skill tree concept and the skill tree idea is something that would do this game well. Uh, what I really don't want from this game is I don't want a sequel to Destiny 2 it. Obviously, that's going to be a controversial thing to say because I know there's people who love Destiny 2, but... I would say the average player, the average gamer would say, you know, Bungie and Activision said, eh, Destiny 1 was maybe a little too complicated for the average person. Let's, let's knock down that complication a little bit for a sequel and say, you know, get rid of RNG on guns and maybe simplify a lot of things. I really, really plead and hope for a Division 2 to not take that route. I really hope Destiny 2 is a lesson to everyone that does any kind of RPG game, but especially the Division, of what not to do with a sequel. I just, I really feel like there is a lot to be learned from that, and one of those things is don't dumb it down. The people who love this game and are passionate about this game want it to be complicated and grindy and to have, you know, be able to build different types of characters even with the same gear you know when it comes to the you know the, the various attributes and stuff like that and i i really think along with that the last thing i'll kind of talk about is that if they do that if they more if they make it more complicated if they do a skill tree if they maybe do some more stuff with talents and gear and guns and all that um please 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 make it more educational make sure these people who have never played an rpg before don't just throw on five, you know, six random pieces of gear and get upset and angry and quit when that gear isn't good, when they can't kill anything and they're getting melted in the dark zone. You know, please introduce some kind of system that encourages or explains crit hit chance, crit hit damage, resistances, um, any enemy armor damage and you know, damage to elites and all these things. You know, make sure they understand. Um, and you can even do it organically, you know, like if it's with a new agent, then, you know, whoever Fei Lao is in the next game, whether it's her or not, you know, have them kind of say, hey, make sure you're checking this or that. Maybe even on the gear screen when you're looking at it, it says your current uh, critical hit chance is this, you know, to raise it, do this or, you know, instead of that, I don't know. Have some kind of guided mode for people who have never played this before. And for heaven, for heaven's sakes, please let us uh, take it off if we don't think we need it. Uh, turn it off, which I have no doubt would happen. So so that's my rant. That's kind of where I was going with all this. I know this has probably gone on way longer than I wanted it to. But if you stuck around this long, I really appreciate it. Um, if you liked what you heard, please subscribe. I'm going to be doing more videos like this. 
please check me out on Twitter. Look down in the description below for that. If you want to talk to me live, come to my Twitch sometimes. I stream fairly often. And for now, that's all I have. And I will see you on the next one.